Hello, my name is Elizabeth Baxter, and I'm a registered nurse from Duncan, Oklahoma. The mission opportunity that I decided to present to you today is called the Compassion Clinic. The Compassion Clinic is located in Duncan, Oklahoma. It serves more than just Duncan, Oklahoma. It serves surrounding smaller towns such as Velma, Bray, Comanche, and Marlowe. The current population of Duncan in 2014 is 23,332 people. And that's just so you can kind of get a rough idea on how big Duncan is. Um, first of all, lots of people have questions about um, the Compassion Clinic, such as, how was it all started? Well, to begin with, the ministry was started because there were men at Chisholm Trail Church of Christ that saw that there was a real need in the community because people did not have the fund or the insurance to go get medical attention. It was apparent that poverty and low-income families were really struggling and hurting. The driving force behind actually starting the clinic were several doctors and a dentist at the Chisholm Trail Church of Christ who had a desire to be a medical missionary. They have also already provided very many medical missionaries to Nicaragua and they decide that it's time to go ahead and bring it local. <clears throat> the next question that many people would have is what is the Compassion Clinic's mission? The mission of the Compassion Clinic is based on the Bible verse in Luke chapter 10 verses 25 through 42 which is the parable about the Good Samaritan. The love that Jesus describes in the parable of the Good Samaritan is what keeps the Compassion Clinic operating and going on a daily basis. The overall goal of the Compassion Clinic is to be vessels through which Jesus can demonstrate his love and compassion for the hurting and the lost. The History of the Compassion Clinic The Compassion Clinic opened June 17, 1993, in the West Annex of the Chisholm Trail Church of Christ on 1404 West Main. The Sunshine House, the clothing part is actually what that was called at the beginning, was also located at the 14th and Main property, but it was in a different building. The food closet operated at the Chisholm Trail's Family Enrichment Annex. Finally, in March of 1995, the Compassion Center opened um, their present branch at the Northside Church of Christ building at 802 North 10th, and it houses all three services all in one building. Um, a lot of people just want general information about the Compassion Clinic, such as hours of operation. The food closet is open Wednesdays from 9 to 11 a.m. The closed closet from Wednesday to 1.30 p.m. 1.30 to 3 p.m. The health care clinic is thurs every Thursday from 2 to 7 and sometimes they even stay even later if there are several patients that come. Except for the fifth Thursday they are closed. What is great about the Compassion Clinic? All the services are free. All workers are volunteers. Some other services that some people may not be aware that the Compassion Clinic really does provide is that they provide legal aid and they try to help at least about an average of five families each Thursday. There is also a free eyeglass care that is provided by a local opti optician. The Compassion Clothes Closet helps around 450 individuals each month with clothing. The Compassion Food Closet helps more than a hundred families per month. The Compassion Clinic also cares and takes it a step further for these patients because they care about their soul. They do a devotional in the waiting areas so that God's Word can be seen by action, but they can also hear it, and if they have any questions, there is always an elder or the actual pastor goes and stays and answers any questions that anyone might have because they do care about their eternal soul.
<clears throat> accomplishments that the Compassion Clinic has made. Accomplishments that were documented in 2013. The food closet gave out more and gave out food to more than 1,584 families. The closed closet gave out more than 15,019 items. The health care center on an average sees 15 to 30 patients each week depending on whether they have one or two doctors. Volunteer doctors at the present are Dr. Saavedra, Dr. Crow, Dr. Norman, Dr. Miller, Dr. Lindsman, Dr. Carnes, and Dr. Myrick. In addition to around 30 to 50 additional in individuals that see the doctor receive medi medicine refills each week. Many of these individuals have multiple prescriptions that need to be refilled. 1,675 different people were seen by doctors at the Compassion Clinic in 2013. There are other medical services that they do provide at the medical clinic. They provide blood sugar monitoring and blood pressure checks. The accomplishments for 2014 have not been totally totaled yet, but November alone shows how great God is working in the Compassion Clinic. In November, a total of 795 individuals were helped. The food closet there was more than 126 people helped. And there were more than 150 people helped with the clothes closet. But many people just want to know what exactly is the value of the Compassion Clinic? I talked to a representative from the Compassion Clinic and they actually informed me that there was an extensive study done 10 years ago on their 10th anniversary of the Compassion Clinic. At that time, the total value of our healthcare services that they provided, such as doctor services, medicine, lab, x ray services, blood work, wound care, um, anything like that each year, came to about $5,341 on a budget that they're supposed to be running with was $70,000. Many people ask, how is this clinic so successful? And to be honest, it's just truly in God's hands. The Chisholm Trail Church of Christ budget, they budget about $75,000 of the $120,000 that the Compassion Clinic needs to run on. Chisholm Trail Church of Christ also provides the building maintenance, the utilities, and then just a lot of the volunteers. The McCaslin Foundation is a foundation here in Duncan that provides a generous gift each year to purchase medicine that is much needed for patients. And it's usually the more expensive meds that they just can't afford or that cannot be donated by samples through, doc that, through doctor's offices. There are some physicians who donate medicine samples. Walmart also generously donates food and water to the Compassion Food Closet. Volunteers are really what helps make the Compassion Clinic run and function effectively. We have about 75 regular volunteers at the Compassion Clinic. And the great thing about the Compassion Clinic is that 100% of the budget goes for medicine lab equipment it's in some office supplies just to keep records so that we are make so that they are making sure that they are giving the the patients the right medicines and cleaning the right supplies and everything like that the great thing is they're not on salary either they all do this because they truly love people the compassion clinic is widely known because they love people and they have helped many people in our community. I believe that this medical mission has personally affected so many people 
and has helped others come to Christ and helped others to see that Christ really loves them even at our toughest moments. Thank you.